This Cam Twist Studio tutorial will show you how to add effects to your buttons that you've already created. Now, in the previous tutorial, we showed you how to very quickly and automatically create brand new buttons by either using the buttons menu or by dragging and dropping. But now I want to spice these up. I want to, inside of my button, add maybe some bubbles or some sort of special effects or something so that I can actually create a more dynamic image all inside of one virtual button inside the interface. So I've got my webcam on air right now. I'm actually going to take that off air so I can play with it a little bit. We'll put it in my preview window. One thing to note, you don't want to play with your objects when they're in the program. When they're in program, they're on air. And much like your television news, you don't play with objects when they're on the air. You don't adjust things and move them into position because then everyone can see you do that. You do that all in the preview window. So I've got it in my preview window. You'll see it's automatically selected. It's twiddled down and I've got my webcam. If I click on the word webcam, I can choose which web camera I want to use. I've got a I've got three Blackmagic intensity boards installed in this, but I'm just going to use the Logitech camera for now. But let's add, let's add bubbles. I like bubbles. They're fun to play with. So we'll click on elements, and this elements window will pop up, and I just find bubbles. It happens to be right here. If I click on it and click add, it will add it in, or I can just double click. It's going to add some bubbles in it. In my preview, I get a real-time preview of what's actually going to happen. And that's, that's nice. I like that. But let's add a couple more. Let's add a bullet hole as well, and maybe a comic book. Okay, that's a bit much. And by the way, how I layer these inside of here is going to dictate how the effect looks. You can see that the bubbles and the bullet hole are all behind the comic book effect. If I take comic book and drag it down, now the bullet hole's on top. You can see that effect changed, or you know, it'll actually be a little bit more, uh, a little more dramatic if we take the uh, bubbles and move it. Uh, well, <laughs> you kind of get the idea. You can see how that how it all changes. Now I've actually moved comic book behind webcam, so it's, it's actually disappeared because the webcam's full screen. So, you know, different, a different effect based on where it's located inside the timeline. So if I move it in between these two, there we've got the bubbles, uh, what is it, the bubbles are in front, bullet holes behind, comic books in front there. So how you layer these inside of, inside of the interface will dictate how it's going to look. Webcam's on the bottom, and then this is on top of that, this is on top of that, this is on top of that, so forth and so on. Uh, this is too much, though. I, I, I think I just want the comic book effect. So I'm going to delete the bubbles effect by clicking the X next to it. I'm going to delete the bullet hole effect by clicking that. And now I've got this really great kind of nifty artistic comic book effect that I want to keep in my webcam. So I'm going to save that and now whenever I call up this camera in my preview, I actually take a new snapshot of that. You can see there, bring it back to program, I can take it off air, I can bring it back in and I've always got these effects saved in real time with this button. Now this is powerful because if I want to create a virtual set, I want to have a background behind me that's some sort of image that I've created and do a chroma key, I can do that all inside of one button. I don't have to actually do all this layering and stuff in real time. I can create my own complete and total virtual set right inside of the Cam Twist interface by using these virtual buttons and simply adding some effects to them. Incredibly powerful. You can, it's essentially a television studio in a box.